Connor Sullivan, ein ahnungsloser Footballer beim Fußball. What's up everybody, this is Connor Sullivan and as you may have known, my last video went kind of viral thanks to you guys. I went to a VFB Stuttgart game and I sat in the very wrong section. <lacht> set in the away fan block and that's not really a smart thing to do especially if you're not from the area and you've never been to a German football game but it turned out in my favor I had my camera I filmed everything thank you to the fans of both sides for putting on an epic performance that was something that I looked forward to since I knew I was gonna make the move From the US to Germany. And secondly, I want to say thank you for keeping me alive. I know you didn't have to. I'm gonna make this video very short. It's basically gonna be a QA because I've been interviewed by a very wide variety of magazines and TV stations. Since I posted this video yesterday, it's gained over 200,000 views. The fastest growing video that I've had to date. I want to say thank you guys for all the kind messages. I've received hundreds of messages on all my social media. You guys are saying you love the video, you want to take me to a game, and I'm gonna take some of you guys up on that offer because I already accepted a ticket from one of you guys to a game this Saturday, it's a secret. Be excited because I am going to be posting as many German soccer experiences as I can. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe because I want you guys to see and experience what I have to experience as an American living in Germany. All right, before I introduce myself and start the Q&A, I want to get to an important fact. Jürgen Klinsmann. Did I say that right? Jürgen Klinsmann spelled my name wrong. Bruh. Jurgen Klinsmann retweeted my video on Twitter. You know what that means though? Okay, another cool thing. You guys know who Mitch Langerak is? The goalie of VFB Stuttgart. He DM'd me on Instagram and he said, I watched your video you posted yesterday. It was crazy. Pretty sick that you captured it all on camera. I'll definitely be sending a link back to my family in Australia. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you share it with your teammates. Let them know that I'm down to go to the locker room and film a little behind the scenes. If you don't notice already, I'm having fun with this whole thing, joking around, but I do appreciate, you know, what it's done to my YouTube channel and I want to continue to produce good content for you guys so you'll continue to watch. Thank you. Men down. Okay, I wanted to go through the articles that were written about me and speak directly to you guys so that you can hear from me the truth. What is your motivation behind your YouTube channel? My motivation behind this channel is honestly this, and I'm going to read it off the page because I thought I did a pretty good job explaining it. <laughs> my motivation behind my YouTube channel is to bring the world closer together through video because I love to explore the world and experience many cultures and traditions. I feel that by sharing experiences, people can gain empathy for others and also attain a better perspective of the world. And I also want to spread positivity and empower many people to go for their own dreams and not have fears that will hold them back. And that's true. I really believe that. That's why I started this YouTube channel. And I think that video, like I said before, is so powerful because we all know The media influences so much of what you believe. Social media, TV media, all that stuff. And I want to be a media that is just a positive, unbiased look at the world. Show things how I see them to the world so that the world can see my videos and gain a new perspective on an experience that I was able to have. Sharing ideas and experiences through videos is awesome because as you know, 200,000 people can see it and get a little bit of that experience for themselves even if they weren't there. Some of you guys have actually given me positive feedback and told me that I'm doing that, so thank you guys. When I hear positive messages that like I'm speaking to you in a way that you haven't heard before, that gets me stoked because I hear your message, I read your message, and I'm like, yes, the passion I have is getting across to people so it's worthwhile. And that pushes me to go even harder. And that's why I'm making this video today. To make it very short and sweet, I love the experience. I like the fans of both sides. I met fans from both sides and they were very nice to me. Some of them weren't, but it's okay. I understand and I don't expect everybody to understand me because I'm coming in with a camera. I'm not from the country, but I do want you guys to know that I try my best to show videos in an unbiased way. Thank you to KSC, thank you to VFB, and thank you to all the people who supported. Is the rivalry between Stuttgart and KSC comparable to rivalries in the US. I would say that the rivalry that I saw at the game, it is comparable because fans will definitely get that rowdy. But the fan atmosphere in the stadium is definitely a lot higher here than it is in the States. And I would attribute that to the police force does not have any tolerance for fighting or fires or anything of the sort. So if they even catch wind of it, They will send officers directly to where it's happening and they'll arrest the people and take them out of the stadium immediately. I think it's good that they give a little bit of leeway here, you know, but there is a happy balance because I had people ask me like, do you think that they should ban all this stuff? Honestly, 
I don't care. And I'm not even from here, so I don't even have a say in how you guys do things. Know this, I'm just here as a fly on the wall, experiencing everything, loving every minute of it. There's a big discussion about whether bangle fires are a part of soccer culture or should be banned due to security issues. What do you think about that? Personally, I love the flares, and I do love the flares. Why? Because I'm a filmmaker, and I'm also an adrenaline junkie. So the flares were exciting for me, personally as a fan and they were better for my videos so and that's just me personally and I go on to say this that I understand that there's children and other people present at the game if I was a father like I said before and I have a young child I may be concerned if I was an older gentleman I don't want to have to worry about getting hit in the face with a flare so I do know that there's a debate and I'm open to both sides it's the same way that I view my videos every time I film a video I'm open to both sides I try to not have a bias as much as possible obviously I'm human it doesn't always work but, so you guys know where my heart's at, thank you. Are you planning on attending a match in the Kahnstadt Curve this season? 100%, I have had many of you guys hit me up and saying, look, I have an extra ticket, would you love to come? And I'm going to come, at least for the very last game where you guys move up to Bundesliga 1, I will be there celebrating with you guys. Let me know where I can film, what I can do. If I could stand up on the grandstand and you know, like, lead the guys in a chant, that'd be super dope. But hey, I'm a visitor here, I'm not trying to intrude. If you guys want me in the very, very back, not filming, and looking at the ground the whole time, I'll do that too. All right, these next questions are from Vice Sports. How did you get your ticket? I got my ticket out in the front of the stadium from a scalper because I only had 20 euros and I was standing there with the 20 euros in my hand, basically taunting the scalpers because they all wanted more than 20, they wanted like 40. And I was just like, hey, I got 20 euros, do you want it? They were being frustrated because they couldn't sell a ticket and they finally gave me the ticket. And I do think that out of their frustration, they purposely put me in the visitor fan block. Thank you guys for doing that. What you thought was gonna be a disservice to me was actually a very good service, so thank you. Did you know that your ticket was where it was gonna be? I knew that it was in the opposing fan block, but I'm used to US stadiums where, once you enter the stadium, you can walk around the entire stadium. There's no fences blocking you in. I thought I was just gonna go into the visitor fan block and then just walk right out of it, and, you know, just stand at the top of the stadium somewhere. The cop did stop me before I went in. This is what the cop did. He looked at my ticket, he looked at me and he was like, do you know where you're sitting? And I said, I, I really have no idea. Um, I'm assuming it's the visitor block. And he said, yes. He's like, do you have any Stuttgart gear on you or in your backpack? And then him and his friend just shrugged their shoulders, gave me the ticket and, and kind of laughed as I walked by. And once I walked in, I was like, oh shoot. I got the adrenaline pumping. When I turned a corner, everybody was going crazy. All right, let's go. I, just, I took off my Stuttgart beanie so they don't know where I'm from. Walking in for the first time to see what it looks like. I look to the right and to the left and I'm fenced in with all these fans. This is the blue block. Over here is like everybody else from the Stukar. And they got this, this fence right here. See this fence? So no one will fight but I still don't feel very safe. Like, I'm, I'm in this side, and I'm trying to like stand there with like a look on my face, so like no one no one will be like down to fight me, because like, every time I look at someone, it seems like they're down to fight. But good experience, though. I basically tried to stand there, you know, and look like I could hold my own. You know, so if someone was looking at me, they'd be like, all right, this guy, he can fight. I honestly felt that way, because I, I got some looks from people that were a little bit like, are you for us or against us? If you're against us, 1%, you will be escorted out in a way that you won't like it. I ended up going to the very top of the section for the second half, and there was a nice fan from KSC. He talked to me the whole time. He was like, yo, you're from Los Angeles. I went to the US sometimes. Uh, he was telling me the whole story behind his club and how, why he supports it. And he was like, yo, you can film up here. Just don't get close to people. And I was like, I appreciate it. Uh, he showed me his back tattoo. Oh! That's good. I respect the loyalty, sir. Kobe Bryant says, you are a beast. Thank you, Kobe. I'm gonna link all the articles that were written about me right below so you can check those out. I was also on a German TV station. My teammates at practice today were like, Connor, did you know you were on TV? And I was like, I had no idea. So here's a little clip of that. Folgt ein US-amerikanischer Footballspieler mit einem ganz persönlichen Connor Sullivan. Ein ahnungsloser Footballer beim Fußball. Olé, 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 olé. And if you wanna see the whole video, it's linked below. Go to minute 23, 
and 50 seconds, and that's when my part starts. All right, now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. I went to college at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. I studied business and film there. I played football, baseball, and track while in college. Once I left college, I signed with Stuttgart with a one-year contract. What's my favorite German food? Probably Spitzle. Spitzle. What's my favorite thing about Germany so far? The U-Bahn train. What's my life goal? My life goal is to spread peace, hope, Love and joy through videos. So if I can do that, I've done my job. Also, do you guys know who the most interesting man in the world is? Dos Equis. And he pretty much knows 10 languages and has traveled to every country in the world and he pets narwhals on his free time. He also can triple backflip standing. He beat Kobe one-on-one, -on -one, stuff like that. So I wanna become that guy in real life. Pretty much James Bond and Goku mixed together. What I used to do is do a daily vlog. I travel the world, I make videos about it, and I'm gonna continue with that. If you wanna see that, please subscribe. I'm gonna add a crazy football fan experience. I'm gonna try to go to games all over the country, and I'm gonna post those experiences here for you guys to see. If you didn't know, I've done some world travel in the past, so check out those videos in the comments or right here. I made my truck into a pool, I climbed the Hollywood sign, I rode a motorcycle across the country in India, all that stuff is in my channel. Also, if you wanna see my college football videos, that's in my channel as well. Whatever else you guys wanna know, please comment below, I'll make another video. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, stay adventurous. Do what you want in this life, give it your best effort, and good things will come. DM me with questions. Thank you guys, see you soon, peace. This is a journey.